I vividly recall this day like it was yesterday. It was November 2019 when I received a phone call and told you your contract has been ended. And I was like, whoa, I could not believe. I remembered I was at the beach at that time. And all I could say in my mind is that, is this happening to me today? It was unbelievable. I could not understand, you know, why working in an organization, being the trader, that my contract had to be ended. And the reason why is that the position they said became redundant. Folks, anything is possible in life. You could be down today and you could be up tomorrow. But what you have to understand is not to give up because it's real out there. At that point in time, I thought my life had ended financially because I wanted to know where I would be given another opportunity. And the hurtful part about it, folks, is that two months before that, which was September month, I was given a better offer. But I so loved what I was doing and so loved the brand at that point in time that I told myself I was turned down that offer and I will continue with this, what I have presently at that time. And someone told me, you know, when opportunity arrives like that, you should always take it because it's society, it's God telling you that you need to move on. And the foolish at a time, unknowingly that this was going to happen. But you know what? It got me stronger. It got me into the field of sales and marketing for companies. It got me into the position of letting for CTS College. It got me in the position of writing my own book, How to Make Money Utilizing Lincoln. It got me to be in front of a camera today and doing a video and telling my story. It got me into being fearless, a fearless individual who could tell persons as if I can do it, so can you. Give persons that motivation, that inspiration to become better. And this is something, this is my testimony to you that anything can happen. And now I would say I'm in a much better place where I'm comfortable, where I believe that I could go on a big stage and give a presentation and inspire persons and make people know that at the end of the day, it's not your ethnic background, it's not the color of your skin, but it's your mental capacity. It's what going on in your mind. They say, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And this is something that I want you all to remember and instill in your minds that you are able to achieve anything. It's not your size. It's not, you know, you are a man or you are a woman. It's more about your mind. Your mind is your lethal weapon. And now, you know, as all this had happened in my life, I could reflect on it and say that if it wasn't for the challenges that I face, I would not be here today. I would not be a stronger individual. And this is something that it's so, you know, emotional to me that I have to share with you today. So my friends out there, never feel down because an opportunity may not come your way or because you may be retrenched in your organization or as they say, make your position become redundant. Anything is possible. Today you are down, tomorrow you are up. The next day you are down, tomorrow you are up. But the whole idea is that not to give up. You know, a lot of men are not talking to other men because in this world right now, between man and woman, is men who have the highest suicidal rate. And you know why? It's because men have so much burden on them. Imagine a man has to basically feed out his household and sometimes it's so much of a burden that he has no one to speak with because if he speaks with his wife concerning it, sometimes he's not getting that physical, that emotional support. So it's like speaking to a partner, he will be like, no, why it is that, you know, you feel in that type of way, move on, go with someone else and not really giving that support as a brother in this life. Because some men have the interpretation that at the end of the day, he weak. They have so much women out there, but a man at times will love that one woman. And at the end of the day, if it is that 
a brother giving him the support, he's supposed to understand that, you know, my brother really loves this woman and I should give advice, you know, appropriate to what he is facing right now. But I would tell you, it have people out there who may jealous the fact that you're in a relationship and it's going steady and they may not be able to get a beautiful woman who is loving, who is caring as your wife, but they want to break up that so they give you bad advice. Men have the highest suicidal rates. You can Google it because men can't lean on another man for that support. A man cannot cry on a man's shoulder because it looks gay. It does not look masculine. And that's something very negative because when we watch internationally, we see so many people doing presentations or speaking or giving a story. Men that are celebrities and they shed tears. But we men who might not be celebrities, we don't want to do that because we have, you know, that macho-ness that we need to show people. But when we think about all the tribulations that these celebrities went through, they share it. You know, they don't feel this pundit not to share it because at the end of the day, they are trying to inspire you. They are trying to educate you as to if it is that they could do it, so can you. Anybody could become a celebrity. Anybody could become an educator. Anybody could inspire someone. So men in particular, we really need that support system and men supposed to support men. So this is something that, you know, I just want to share because I think that myself not being a celebrity, but it's vital information to you and it may inspire you some way. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love to share stories. I love to talk about sales and marketing. I love to talk about things that could uplift you, men and women. But right now in particular, men need that support. Thank you.